Hey everyone, Nick Brick here with a Halo build. A power weapon in close quarters combat, here's the LEGO M90 Shotgun from the Halo 2 Anniversary Campaign. In Halo 2, the M90 Shotgun is a close quarters 8 gauge pump action shotgun used by the UNSC Marines. It is top loaded to a 12 round magazine tube above the barrel. The shotgun is effective only at close range and is best used against the Flood. The LEGO shotgun is 40 inches long, 4 inches wide at its widest point, and weighs 6 pounds. Just like in game, the LEGO version is bulky. This LEGO shotgun was built around a new pump action mechanism. Flashback to April 2012, when college freshman Nick Brick built the shotgun from Halo Reach. That mechanism design was, it was alright for then, but I've definitely improved my mechanism knowledge since then. Bet you want to see it, so let's take a look at this new mechanism. First up, loading it. This new mech can be loaded in two spots. First, with an empty chamber, you can load the first shell directly into the chamber. Second, you can load up to six shells into the magazine tube above the barrel. This is all in addition to the chambered shell, so you can get 6 plus 1. I'm going to go ahead and remove the top loading port door to show you the next part of the mechanism. By the way, the door itself is super simple. It's reset by this blue pulley belt right here. To allow for proper, mostly one at a time feeding of the shells from the magazine, this mechanical catch system is in place. It has two levers. When the pump is forward, the left catch is activated and the right catch is lowered. When it is backward, the left catch is lowered and the right catch is activated. The two catches are staggered, so a shell can still slide past it, so it's not purely a one-way mech. Now, the ejection mechanism. With the ejection port open, you can see how it works. A static block, when combined with a slope in the sliding pump itself, squeezes the shell out the port. To make this mechanism function just a bit smoother, the shape of the shell itself helps. The shells are curved on one side, which adjusts the ejection force more sideways than backwards and prevents a jam. Lots of iterating went into the design of this mechanism, and the result is a mech that isn't perfect, but it's reliable enough and definitely much better than the version from 8 years ago. In addition to the pump action mechanism, there are a couple other features. These include a moving trigger, as well as light up sights, pump grip, and flashlight, all powered by brick stuff. The functions, of course, were the primary focus and headache of this build, but there are some pretty sweet details and part uses too. Let's take a look at some of them. I'm always saying LEGO needs to make more circular parts 3 studs in diameter. In the meantime, I'm using what's available in any creative way I can, like this 3 wide stud shooter as the muzzle. The mag tube area has the most texture on the model. We have this rail with 1 stud wide slots bridging the gap between the iron sights. Also, the exposed mag tube and the shroud over it Use stud gaps and anti-studs respectively to add visual interest. The pump grip is thick. Really thick. Like, two C's thick. My hand barely reaches all the way around, but the grip texture allows it to easily slide anyway. Lots of different curved parts and slopes are used to shape this area close to the source material. Now this area right here doesn't have much detail on the original model, thankfully, because I needed this space for structure. It doesn't really look like much, but it holds together even when aggressively racking the pump. The pistol grip was built for stability over detail, since it takes some of the pumping force that the stock doesn't. Actually, with the way I film in first person, it takes almost all the force. Anyway, it's shaped close to the source material and also allows for the enormous trigger space present on shotgun models in the early Halo games.
The final part built was the stock and the cheek rest. It's incredibly solid. Like, you can hold the whole build by it. Although the MagTube area has the most texture, my favorite texture on this whole build is on the butt pad. Stacked brackets create half plate gaps between each row of tiles. Additionally, the circular detail is present, shown in the shotgun's concept art. And here is a banana for scale. Halo's shotguns are huge. They have to be. They shoot 8 gauge shells. And, <laughs> why not? Let's show a few more Halo weapons alongside it for scale. In case you didn't know, I keep some of my models around, even for years. Since this gun doesn't use a detachable magazine and loads individual shells instead, I wanted to create a way to carry the spare shells. This is what I came up with, a small Lego ammo tin. Fun bit of trivia, the shotguns in Halo fire Soulcraft 8 gauge magnum shells, and each shell has a picture of a hippo on it. So I reflected this bit of lore on the tin itself. Overall, it was fun to revisit an old mechanism and update it to be a bit more efficient and less prone to jamming. Wrap it up in a package of, aesthetically, my favorite Halo shotgun, and throw in some brick stuff lights, and the result is a model I'm proud of. Now, let's test out the M90 shotgun. Subscribe for more LEGO gaming builds. Also, like, comment, and share if you enjoyed the LEGO M90 shotgun from Halo 2 Anniversary. You know what they say, keep your friends close and your enemies within range of your primary firearm. So you can shoot them.